Welcome back to another episode of Podcast P presented to you by Prize Picks, a Wave Sports and Entertainment original. It's your guy, PG13, and I'm here with my boys, Dallas Rutherford and Jackie Long. Come on. <laughs> I like I like what you did up there. You like what I did? Yeah, 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 yeah. But we got a special guest with us today. I got to go through this resume because the resume is crazy. Long. Most points scored by a freshman in a season. Most points scored in a game by a player this year. The only freshman in women's college basketball history to have scored 900 points in a season. Damn. Keep going, Pete. Crazy. Second Keep going. among done. all women college basketball players with 25 and 10 double doubles. Damn, 10 doubles. She propelled her team to first Elite Eight in 30 years with averages of 27, 7, 3, and two steals. Named an All-American, USA Today National Freshman of the Year, and broke the NCAA Women's Freshman scoring record. We got none other than the young legend, Juju Watkins. That is that a was, that's a crazy <laughs> resume. That was a beautiful intro. Yeah, I beautiful. had like usually I you know I try to come up with something you know special, but with that I had to like we we got to acknowledge all that I you have done that. in your first collegiate year. That's 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 remarkable. He that's crazy. Stuff too though, didn't he? No, no, he no, he, got, he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. It was the she longest intro we've had, though. That, that, That's the longest we did, intro we've had. The whole resume, that, the intro would have been about 30 minutes. <laughs> so she got the best intro of all times on the podcast. I think she does. Oh, by, think for sure. Sure. by far. The longest. But it's an oh. honor. <laughs> by come far. Come on. Hey, we tried to come in style. You know, yeah. I, I tried to throw my, my SC yeah. colors on. I appreciate you know, this. That's, came, that's crazy. That's I swag right there. This came in last week, and we didn't. I didn't know you were going to be here then. That's so tough. I'm like, this is perfect. But Jackie might have won up. I think I won. What, what you did over there? Because we don't see no NC colors. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm kind of okay. mad at Juju though. Because Juju's like, like mine today. She yeah. got in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Juju. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Juju, I got this done just for you today, Juju. What you got up there? I got this done just for me. You oh, okay, Juju. Oh, God. 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 Juju. Juju. I got this done for you, Juju. Come on, Juju. You came in with yours to the back. <laughs> <laughs> You nailed it. Oh my God. Uh, I got a lot of forehead. I didn't get the baby. Nah, you ate, ate that. Okay. It, it you is ate a that. lot of forehead up there. <laughs> I, see, I see something you did. You wet it. Right. Let it, let that wet sit in there. Right, right, right. You gel it. Mm hmm. Walk it up. Right. Brush it up. Right. You see, look. I'm mm. uh, mm. gotta get that. See, look now, now you gotta use that. You just gotta push out the baby there hairs. We well, he's forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't, ain't 40 no baby. I can't, I can't do no all that. But, with him no but you more. say, boom. Yeah, <laughs> scoop it down. Yeah, his okay. baby hair. So next time, off. next time, next time, next time. Teach me notes. We gonna go on a you ready for a fifty piece now? Yeah, huh? you ready for a fifty piece now? <laughs> I might. Yeah, I might. I could probably get a sixty piece if I might. Come on now, you forty. You never get you forty. I mean, I'm mad. I'm kind of mad at you though. Why you didn't do it today? I'm sorry. I didn't know we was doing. That today, <laughs> you, you could have DM'd me or something and said, "Dude, come on!" I done got prepared. The girl came early this morning and knocked my head. She, up. you yeah. did that. She did it. Listen, I had cornrows yesterday. Mm. Did. I did this for you when they said Juju. I said, "Ooh, ooh I have to go get my hair done ASAP." I wasn't playing. It's a pleasure the beads out to meet you. Then you had the braids with the beads. <laughs> you ain't yeah, had to tell her all that on my head. He had the yeah, whole yeah, shebang. Yeah, I had the beads in. I called the girl. They said. Hey, fellas, I tell you, we had an awesome message. It was a nice little message from our boy TD. He told us about it, and I said, Juju, I looked at my hair. I said, oh, this bad. <laughs> I said, you know what? I could take my hair down and do the Juju. Because I seen the, I had talk, we'll talk about that later in the thing. But yeah, <laughs> the, the, let's start the show, because I'm excited. Let's start the show. Let's start I'm the excited. Show. I'm this... going to Juju, look, the best Juju shit today, right? Yeah, I give it to him. But <laughs> T-shirt wasn't nothing, brother. <sighs> Come on. All okay, right. you can do is get a yeah. sign. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right to it, right? Mm -hmm. Six years old, you had your, or one of your, your first games, you had a 30 piece, right? You remember anything from this game? My first The first 30 game? piece. As a kid. You're, as a kid? Yeah, as a kid. <laughs> oh, shit. No. We heard at, at six years old, one of your first years, games, who? you had a 30 piece. That is, I don't know where that came from. We don't know about this? <laughs> no. Can we fact check this? Can we six fact years old. Oh, like, six years old with a 30? I thought it was 35. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there go. Talk to that mama. No, she's gassing me. She's gassing me. so mad, he tried to pick her up and walk her out the gym. 
Mm. Oh, so this was against okay. the boys too. What? Yeah, yeah. She was playing for with the boys. Oh. Yeah, it was um Whoa. up at Westchester Park. It was like a co-ed okay. like uh park league. But I don't know how many points I had, but I, oh, I guess know. I was doing yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. six years old. I guess and it was yeah. a legend continues. <laughs> Football free agency might already have you hyped for next season, but while kickoff is a long ways out, you can already pick more or less on 2024 season stats on prize picks. Season totals for passing yards, receiving touchdown sacks, you name it, we've got it. You can now win up 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into $1,000 with playoff basketball and hockey on entries today on Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Prize Picks has been awesome just because it's all online. I can do it from the comfort of my home, and I love placing entries on a multitude of different sports, not just football, basketball, uh, and baseball, but you can also dabble in maybe some of the video game with the esports and so forth. So I've really been enjoying Prize Picks. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like you, Dallas. You know, I like doing things where I know I can win. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing a lot of winning with baseball this year so mm. far. So, you know, I'm going I'm to stick there, you know. Okay. I know they got the the, the, the uh, Call of Duty on there. I do good every now and then. But I'm baseball so far right now because NBA ain't messing with, you know. But anyways, download the app today and use code PODCASTP for a first deposit matchup to $100. I want to make sure y'all heard me. Once again, $100. Use the code PODCASTP for a first deposit matchup to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. At what point? Did the love for basketball, like when did that happen? Um, I would say when I was like 11, like um, my parents, like I really had to talk with my parents and like, this is something I really want to do. Mm -hmm. Cause other than that, it was just like playing outside with my brothers or going to the park. Mm -hmm. um, but I really wanted to be serious about it. So uh, I worked in the off season with my dad. He trained me on like fundamentals and stuff. And I guess it just started from there. Okay. That's crazy because, well, allegedly we'll say at six years old, you go for 35. So with that being said, I mean, you obviously had a skill set at an early age, but then five years later is when you would say you officially like yeah. started to really love the game. Yeah, for sure. Okay. We already discussed about, you know, the heck of an accolade you had, the year that you had in your first collegiate year. If you had to pick a moment that stood out about this past season, what would that be? I mean, the 51 is just insane. It's just crazy. It's just yeah. insane. But besides that, I would probably say we won the Pac-12 championship, and it's like the last Pac-12 mm -hmm, ever. Mm -hmm. like, right, 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 right. Um, so that was just something to go down in the books. And uh, to do that with my team, is, it was really cool. Yeah. Who on the team is, you say, like, you the closest with? Like, that's my girl. Otto. Otto is our... Uh, India, right? Yeah, yeah India. Yeah, 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 yeah. India. Yeah, so that's back, my dog. So little backstory, India used to go to my camps. I used to do mm -hmm. camps at... Uh, I forget the high school. What's the which one? There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I forget the high school, but I know I know her dad Rick very yeah, well. Rick, yeah. Um, and India used to actually come to you know every summer I would do a little camp, and India was always at the camps. And mm -hmm. then fast forward, you know, and and I love her enthusiasm every yeah, time. She's... You know, she's the first one running off the bench to high five, mm -hmm. coming out of timeouts. Like she, you could tell it's just a genuine support that she has for you. So yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out, India. Shout out, Heritage yeah. or Village. Village Christian. Village there Christian. You go. Yeah, I was yeah, trying yeah. to think where you've done your camp. Her nickname is Otto. Yeah, her last name is Otto, so everybody just call her Otto. Otto, okay. Yeah. So, Juju, you got a taste of your very first NCAA tournament for the first time this year, and I'm sure that was an exciting time for you, and, you know, you guys fell short uh, in the Elite Eight to UConn. But during that tournament run, uh, just describe what that experience was like, like your first, you know, big stage. And I'm curious – um, from from your inside, did the game become easier to you or just what was like that whole tournament run experience like? I think the tournament, I mean, it gets harder. Like as you progress more on the line, like um, game plans become even more detailed and everybody's really locked in because one and done. Um, so I would say just as far as like what's being thrown at me, like on the defensive end and stuff like that, I mean, of course, it, it it gets harder as the season progresses. Um, but for me, it was just my first experience, so I didn't really know what to expect just going into it. And I guess just try to make the most out of it um, and really um, just take everything in and know what to expect for uh, the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. Right. 
And I noticed at the end of that game, uh, Paige on the other team, at the end of the game, you guys are going through the high fives. And she she said a few words to mm -hmm. you. Can you share with us kind of what, what she said to you after that game? I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I was just so emotional um, yeah. at the end of it. But I think just like, just keep going. Um, Paige is a great player. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that I got the chance to to experience that, that bump because it is just... It's great for the game. It grows the game. Mm -hmm. And um, she's, um, I mean, I grew up watching her in high school. And, and just to see how far she's come, um, just, and how much she's um, been through and, and still going out on top. So I'm just happy for her. And um, she just had some encouraging words for me. Awesome. Yeah. Were you looking forward to, like, that Caitlyn matchup? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that, would have been, that would have been tough. Oh, my God. That would have been so tough just to uh, get that her last year mm -hmm. um but she's amazing I and just seeing see what that. she's accomplished is, is so motivating right well i, I got another follow-up question what's it like because you know the the women's basketball tv ratings have been crazy mm -hmm. and i think the lsu iowa game it had the most views in any college basketball game uh women's or men's mm -hmm. uh in espn's history and i think it was the most viewed basketball game on espn since the 2018 eastern conference finals lebron uh versus the boston celtics but mm -hmm. how is that for you kind of i'm sure you're aware of of you know mm -hmm. the popularity of women's basketball increasing over the last several years and now you're you know especially next year you know caitlin's going to be gone it, it's going to be all you do you kind of feel is it pressure is it exciting what is that feeling like knowing that you're the face of of, of women's college basketball here <laughs> well that's that's a big title I, I wouldn't say that i think that it's just i wouldn't be considered the person i am without um my competition i mean the comp is everything the mm -hmm. conferences the, the the great teams i mean I, I guess like, yeah, that that's really what matters. Just who you're playing. I think mm -hmm. that's also a factor in, in how great you are and um, just seeing who you're able to play in. Um, so I wouldn't say I'm doing it alone. I mean, there's great teams everywhere, so many great players, and I'm just glad that I get to play against them. I love it. Yeah. That girl dope. <laughs> you know how she said that, but she happy to be playing with her anyway. I like to be nosy, Jojo. <laughs> what has been some of the great advice that players have gave you, I don't care if it's legends, because you know a lot of celebrities that's, that's, that's here and gave you all type of talks when you've been at the games. I want to know what type of advice have people gave you as you go to this next level in your career? I don't know. I get a lot, I get a lot of advice, but I think um, I'm very receptive when it's coming from like people in my circle. So I would just say my parents just, just always tell me to just um, hold my head high and um, remain happy throughout this journey. I mean, mm -hmm. so many things coming at me. So I think just pr protecting my peace and my inner peace is, is most important. Well, give me a, but do, do me one thing. Give me a player. <laughs> give me a player. Somebody, a player? A, a oh, player. Okay, okay, you want to play? your mom and your dad. It. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, okay. I want to see I, what I player gave that. you some advice to help you out. Present? Anybody. 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 Okay, I would say, um, sure, like Cheryl Miller. Mm -hmm. uh, we've there had we great conversations. Oh. She told me to find a safe like a space where i could just um you know be be free of all expectations and stuff like that so still look, working on that and stuff like that just mm -hmm. making sure that i'm a, i'm good you know mm -hmm. on and okay. off the court when we speaking of like iconic in the in the sport of women's basketball angel reese is definitely mm -hmm. at the top of that with how much she's been scrutinized how much she's been praised how much she's been um idolized um, she is one of the biggest faces in women's basketball, um, college or WNBA. Have you been able to connect with her at all on on any advice or? No, I haven't. Um, but I mean, what she's doing for the game is just exciting. She's so exciting to watch, mm -hmm. and I think her numbers speak for for themselves. Just um, constantly double doubles and stuff like that. So she's a great player, and uh, she's really helping grow in the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's she's special talent. Good luck to Andrew Reese. I know she's mm -hmm. going on to the next level as well. You talked about it a little bit about one of the most memorable memorable moments um, was the fifty one piece, right? On the road, go to Stanford. What is it? Maple Pavilion is mm -hmm. their uh, arena. I think so. Yeah. I know it's a hostile crowd there. They're number four in the country, Stanford, with Cameron Brink. But yet, 
you go off and explode for 51 points. Can you describe the moment when you knew that, all right, I'm I'm locked in. I'm just in a zone here. I think I went on like, I, I went on a crazy run, I think, um, where I just didn't miss. Yeah. And like, I don't know. You, I feel like, you know, like yeah. you're just in the zone. Like and we saw it and watching it live is like, all right, yeah, she's, yeah. there's nothing they can you do just, with her. You can't, you block out everything. You right. don't see no defenders. Right, <laughs> right. And you just start shooting and it just, it was you had it, I mean, you had the hezzy, you had the and three the ball going, the oh. euro slide through step. Right. You had, I mean, stupid. literally everything you had was, it was just, like you said, like, and when you're in that zone, for people that don't understand what that zone is like, it is like you are just. Like zen. It's, you practicing you basically. Avatar? Yeah. The new one? You like in the Avatar state. Yeah. Like, yeah. She was crazy. Everybody is cones. Shout out to yeah. Pat Bev. <laughs> <laughs> she won't say it, but I'll say it. Everybody is cones when it comes in that moment. It just literally feels like you you can't do no wrong. The basket is triple the size. The ball just feels like it's just fitting perfect into your hands. Mm -hmm. it, it, you are just in tune with your body, your movement, you know, your pace. That's how all you of that felt is the just, other night. When you did that that forty one piece, yeah, uh, yeah, like that. Like that. It, I it got just, it. I got it. Anything you throw up, I got that's, it. it's cash. You mm -hmm. know, it's cash. Got it. You felt like that before? Have you had a moment like that before? <laughs> on set, on set, okay, killing okay. every scene. So what is that no like? Retest. All right. So in a in a in an acting set, like what does that feel like when you when you in the zone? Is that like remembering all the lines? Remember, like you ain't messing up on lines. Your ad libs is perfect. Remembering all the lines. Your ad lib. Your marks. Where you going? Yeah. That light that's hitting you right, and you just. Exit out that scene with 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 no mess ups and you you killed it. That's that's a zen because you zoned in, you locked in, you in your character. Can't nobody call you Jackie on set. Okay, I'm me. I'm who I, I'm the do the character that I am. So zen that's when then. you know you killed. Like is that is that like a is that like a uh uh like a nod to you? Like if or is that a thing? Like say your character name is let's see. Esquire, right? <laughs> I, I always bring up Esquire. Uh, say you're, and if people on set calling you Esquire, like is that like a like? I, I did my, I'm doing my you're job. You doing your thing? They I'm not even calling you Bunky. They, they, he like, locked I'm, in in he, this character. He Esquire. Okay. He ain't no Jackie Long today. Get him out of here. Okay. We don't need him. We here okay. with Esquire, and he's zoned in, and that's all I do. Love it's that. the same I would, thing. I would love to see Jackie be locked in locked on the basketball in. court like that. Like, yeah, if yeah. He made like three shots in a row. He they be, think I don't got game. <laughs> they think because I got sciatica, I don't got it. I still can do this. I still can do it. I'm gonna show them what. Can I be in the league this year? I'm gonna have to talk to the coach. I don't want to be in if you gotta yeah, talk to somebody. We, we, we should <laughs> yeah. coach and take it seriously. Oh, good. So, Juju, Tracy Mills has been someone that's kind of been in your circle. Shout and out T Mills. Someone yeah. that you've leaned on during your time uh, over the last several years. He's been at every one of your games. And he brings a lot of guests from Kalani, Chris Brown, Kevin Hart, you name it. I think LeBron and Vanessa Bryant have been to one of your games. Has there been anyone or is it one of them where you kind of left starstruck because you knew that they were in attendance watching you play the game? Yeah, I mean, I'm a big LeBron fan, so anytime <laughs> he comes, it's crazy. Um, I guess all all yes, honestly. <laughs> How do your teammates feel? Because I mean, they're there to watch yeah. you. I mean, if we're we're being honest no. here, it's got <laughs> no. it's got to be cool for the teammates too. You know what I mean? I oh, saw yeah, absolutely. Travis Scott was at one of the Iowa games, uh -huh. and he took a picture with Caitlin, and then you see all the teammates in the background, like oh, yeah, 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 get yeah, yeah. It's got to be fun for your teammates too, just having having those types of you know celebrities and people there at the games. Yeah, I mean, we all pretty much fangirl. I mean, if it's somebody crazy, so, mm -hmm. yeah. But it's crazy, like, because there's now, there's a juju effect, right? <laughs> like, that's 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 what's crazy. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> it's a ju there we go. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's a juju effect. Like, and I think that's what's going to be crazy. Like, when you, when, you, when you look at the bun and <laughs> that being your signature look, like, that's what's craziest. I think you're going to start a whole new, generational thing of girls wearing the high bun and mm -hmm. like how does that make you feel like <laughs> it's cute it's, 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 it's an cute. iconic thing you know what i mean men yeah. too men too Juju, like, men too men, men can too. wear buns too don't, don't use that word right there don't use the man bun right okay there. no it's it's they, handsome the they're, bun they're, is handsome say that say that say that, say that Juju. <laughs> the bun the bun can be handsome and cute it's co-ed um okay. but it's it's crazy to think about it's like I don't know, just creating like a new kind of swag. Mm -hmm. it's, it's cool. 
Did, I want to know who is this something that you always just, of course, wore? Or are you like, I want to yeah. be different and wear the bun on, on my on top of my head? Like you could have did braids, you could have pressed it, ponytailed it, did a million things, but you do the baby hairs on fleek right. with <laughs> the bun. Like, yeah, I just, it, I just think it looks good, so I just wear it. It's yeah. been the thing since uh, I've been doing it for a long, for time. A long time. Yeah, okay. mama, 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 mama put me on. Mama did, yeah. delicate mama, she over there. <laughs> yeah, she could have yeah. did your mom. So, so you say so basically it, it don't look good. Yeah, it no. don't look, I'm going to use some stuff. Let's, let's, let's hear from the, right, right. the bun expert. Give me a little right, right. Give me a little right, right. I don't got no cut cut. Give me a little right, 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 Juju, Juju, Juju. I got you. I got Juju. you. I got you. No, no, no. Get me right, Juju, right there. Get me right, Juju. Let me see. Come on, Juju. There you go. Come on, okay. Juju. There you go. There you go. I got you. Hold on. That's all right. Get the baby hairs. Come on, Juju. Oh. There you go. There you go. Now, now right, Juju. <laughs> That's a ten. That's a ten. That's a ten. Come on. Thank you, Juju. Of course. We uh we we talked about the level of focus you have, right? And then Jackie brought up, uh, or Dallas actually brought up, the stars that do come out to watch you and, and still you maintain this level of focus. We've heard it from WNBA players, NBA players, they attest highly of how you know focused you are. When you look at this season and what you've done, and now you're going on to your sophomore year, where are you in particular, like pinpointing where can I get better? Just knowing like, I'm a high volume shooter. I think efficiency is mm -hmm. definitely the next step in my game. Mm -hmm. um, so that's definitely something that I'm, I'm working on. Just, I guess, just enhancing like uh, my efficiency, being more precise about where I shoot the ball and stuff like that. How do you decipher from like, cause when you watch Caitlin, right? She mm -hmm. shoots, she has the Steph range, right? Like, are you looking at that like, oh, let me, I need maybe add that to my bag or. Let me extend the floor a little bit. Yeah, I mean, um, range is definitely something that um, that's a constant process of mm -hmm. like uh, working on. But I would say I'm kind of different in a sense that like, like I have my slots, and like if you could give me the ball in my slots, it's like ISO, you know, stuff spots. like that. Like, yeah. like I could pull the transition three stuff like that. But yeah. I'm more of a spots person. I would say. Gotcha. What's your go-to move? Like, do you have a move? Because when, when I've watched you play, you look very fluent and you're kind of just going based on what the defense is giving to you. But do you have, like, a favorite, like, go-to move? Like, all right, I got to get a bucket here. Like, is it you like to go left? You like to go right? Like, what's your go-to? Like, you need to get a bucket. You can't tell her she tricks. <laughs> Come on, that is I would girl. say Euro. I love a Euro. Okay, like, there we go. Did I say it? There we go. It's just so I, tough. I, she cold, cold that dude. one. Thank you. I see you got a strong leg. Cause I couldn't keep doing it as much as you do it. I love, I love your, cause you're, and I do it too. You're, you, you get into the twitchy, mm -hmm. you know, twitchy, uh, step back. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I love watching that. You don't see that much from the women's game of having that kind of handle, that twitchiness. When did you develop that? Like, cause I do it too. Like, and people are like, oh, he's, he's twitchy. But then I've never seen it in like, you know, mm -hmm. women doing it and, and, and you're taking it to that next step. I think over the summer, uh, I've, I've been working on my pace a lot mm -hmm. and um, more like shiftiness. Mm -hmm. um, I think this summer that was like the next step in my game um, and I just kept working on it um, and like repping it in my, in practice and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it, I mean, it looks it looks comfortable. I mean, you, you. you pulled it out in, in uh, you know, in the tournament run, you obviously pulled it out and, you know, displayed it during the regular season, so. It, I, I can't wait to see more of it and, and that, you know, take another step to it. I know Melo compared you recently to Meyer Moore. Mm -hmm. For you personally, who was, you know, that person for you that you idolized or, or you mm -hmm. want to compare your game to? I would say Candace Parker. Um, I, I just, I grew up watching her at the Sparks and I just fell in love with her game mm -hmm. um, and like her versatility. So I would say I always like apply that, uh, apply that to my game, like trying to be more versatile, mm -hmm. get, on, get in the post more and, Okay, CP. Shout out CP. CP Z. Shout out CP. Come on. And you had mentioned that you're a big fan of LeBron James, who you've got to meet. You and LeBron you were able to do a commercial at his house in high school, and then mm -hmm. fast forward, he's sitting at your college game watching you score 27 points. Uh, what kind of conversation did you have with LeBron after that game? 
I don't I don't think after that game I got to see him, but I think like every time I see him, it's always just like keep going, like and stuff like that. I mean, just what he's able to accomplish, I think he's just already inspiring just just seeing how how far he's come so um for him to really take his time out of his day and and come watch us play is it's amazing mm -hmm. it's awesome p this is this is a question for you but i want you to give her a piece of advice because i think it's interesting like when you were 18 years old mm -hmm. a freshman in college you only really had to focus on basketball mm-hmm here she is. She's a young 18 year old uh, young woman. And I, I love that you said that you're most focused on protecting your peace. But now now this generation of athlete, they have to deal with being invited to podcasts NIL. there's there's <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. It's mm -hmm. different. Like we <laughs> right. didn't have to deal with any of that stuff. And now there's money involved in these college athletics. And I know for you, probably the game of basketball changed a little bit for you once you got to the NBA, because now you're dealing with money. So mm -hmm. I, I want you to give her a piece of advice on how, you know, she can kind of juggle like the business side and just the the love of the game yeah. side. Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, you have an amazing foundation and, and, you know, support system around you. So that alone will keep you grounded. But I think it is a, diff a different time. You know, I obviously wasn't that high level of a player coming out of college. I wasn't, you know, that, I wasn't on that scene or even close to, to the level you are at as far as superstardom in college. Um, so, you know, some stuff, I, I, you doing something I've never done. But what I will say is that, you know, continue doing what you've been doing. I think people lose sight of, you know, thinking that they have to become this because of everything that's, you know, basketball has been giving you I think you're at a beautiful place where you can pick and choose what you want and you know the deal you want or you know I, I think that's you know where we're at now you become a professional a lot sooner um, because when you're involved in money you know th that's the position that you're in now mm -hmm. you know for me it was once I got in the league now it's money involved now it's deals now there's so you do lose sight of you know, you can, I would say, not you do, but you can lose sight of what actually got you to where you're at. Right. Um, so just staying grounded with what you do. It's been working, obviously. Um, and, you know, I, I, the saying is, is cliche, but it's true. Like, all money ain't good money mm -hmm. um, as long as it aligns with you and it doesn't, you know, overlap or it doesn't become more pressure added to you. Um, it is tough because with social media now growing mm -hmm. and, you know, um, you know, people going to scrutinize and, you know, try to pick holes into your game. I always looked at it like people hated on Michael Jordan. Right. right. And so once I got that into my head, then it's like, all right, well, they going <laughs> to just gonna... say anything. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like if they hate on MJ game, like <laughs> then what the fuck am I mad about? Right, you know what right, I mean? Right. <laughs> so I think just, you know, just having a level of peace, you've already stated that, having a level of, level of peace of who you are, keep that in your foundation. Thanks. And um, just don't stop doing what got you where you at because mm -hmm. it's working. The persona on the court and the persona off the court, um, it was, I think it's something that you have to find. You know, like who you're going to become and who you are on the court. It's always going to be different than who you are off the court. Right. Mm -hmm. And when we talk of that level of peace and being in a great state of mind, uh, for me, I, I always try to be consistent with like how I approach going into a game and, and, you know, the mentality going into a game. So I'm never like all over the place. So I never feel I'm uncomfortable. Or I never feel like, damn, like. Last game, I was calm and I was chill. Now I'm like laughing and shit. Like now I'm, I'm in my head. You know what I mean? Like I'll go through moments like that, honestly, where like things might go on. It's a different situation. People joking. And I don't usually joke. I try to be super serious going into games. But then I catch myself laughing. I'm like, like <laughs> don't laugh. I don't usually do this. Like, like <laughs> what am I doing here? But, you know, talk to us a little bit of like of how – for you being in that peace of mind, like what are some of the things that you try to do going to a game mm -hmm. or, you know, while you're in the moment of just kind of being mellow and, and staying yeah. in that zone and locked in? Yeah, that's crazy that you say that. I think I have like the same exact like uh, approach to yeah. the game, just trying to 
I try to like isolate myself. So I'll just put on my headphones and mm-hmm. just like won't talk to anybody mm-hmm. for like hours leading up to the game. So I I just try to it's like a feeling. Like mm-hmm. you could feel when you're gonna have a good game or like when you when you feel on. Um right. and just trying to replicate that and, and do the same thing. Um, maybe like listen to the same music that you know, like yep. stuff like I that, that just to, well, yeah. to get in that rhythm. Um so I guess that's how I kind of prep. Yeah, because I guess it's kind of like a not not necessarily a superstition. Yeah, because it's a borderline of like superstition yeah. or routine. You yeah, know what I mean? routine more. And I I know like people look at me and they're like, damn, like what's wrong with P? P mad today? Yeah, but it, I'm not. But it's just like I I'm I'm not in a joking like yeah. mood right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, in, and yeah. I don't. Yeah, I'm just locked in, yeah. and it works for me. Like I carry that onto the court. And so people just like sometimes the locker room like, damn, P, you all right? Like, and I'm perfectly fine. But mm-hmm. like, yeah, like this is my way of getting ready for a game. And mm-hmm. then I carry that into the game because I'm not joking. I'm not. This is not a playful matter for me right now. Like, I mean, business, right. you know. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's working. People out there, we not mad. OK, we locked in. <laughs> we got a job to do. Let us do our right. job. <laughs> what what about off the court? Like I know for Pete, and I'm speaking for him, but I know like he loves to play video games. Mm-hmm. He's just focusing on the game. It's relaxing. It's fun. What's your like off the court? You're not playing basketball. You're not worried about your deals. Like what's something in your personal life that like you enjoy to do other than basketball? I love going shopping, which is not the best like, <laughs> thing to do, but I just love going to the mall, like with my friends or going to Melrose or something. Um, it's therapeutic. So yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> retail that. therapy. Yeah, retail, yeah, retail therapy. therapy. Okay. Oh, girl, Spend a boy. check and get it right <laughs> back. <Okay. laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I want to know what you're listening to, though, Juju. I listen to everything, everything. But you listen when you're in that zone, like you. When like I'm in the zone, saying. yeah. Like, what's your what's the go to track that you you play and over and over? Probably, apparently, uh, J Cole. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Cole. Yeah. Oh, shout out Cole, new that's, album. Yeah, that's mine. Might delete song. later. That's, that's we just gave him some clicks. Yeah, you know what I mean? Shout out Cole. That's Hope, all hope we get Cole. 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 Yeah. Kendrick or Cole? You know, I'm a, a West Coast boy. You know who I'm going that's with. That's the toughest question. I'm Kendrick, that, man. That is tough. That all is day. Tough. I'm Kendrick. We got to go West Coast. You got to yeah. go. You gotta, yeah. We going to ask you who, you who you got. I'm not saying that. Cole and Kendrick. I'm not in the V. You West Coast. You better go with Kendrick. No, I... Ah, oh, I don't know. Come on, Drake. We could throw Drake I love in there. Kendrick though. See, she loved Kendrick, so that's I what love it Cole, is. Yeah. So it's yeah. No, nah, hey, we we, you said you. Second, we fans though. of both fans of all three <laughs> you of said them. Said he's second, but I mean, it's hometown. You gotta go with hometown. Come with on, Kendrick, you know I mean? I'm gonna go with Kendrick. But anyways, Juju, on my way here. Guess what? What? Saw your AT and T commercial. <laughs> 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 you were doing it with Joel. Yeah, with I Joel. mean that that seemed like that was fun because he even did your your look in the commercial mm-hmm. and, and established that you got the juju, you know, uh, style that you can go to the salon now and say, "Give me the juju." Me mm-hmm. the juju. But uh, with all that said, we know you got a lot of family members in the entertainment business. Shout out mm-hmm. to my boy, you know, Mills and everything, and my boy Robin Hood, my boy Robin Hood too. But mm-hmm. um, I want to ask you, with that said, seeing you acting in the commercial. With basketball, you going up the ladder. Do you want to continue in the entertainment business with acting or maybe do some music like the girl Flo J got signed to Rock Nation? I don't know. You might want to rap. You know, I wish I could do what Flo J does. If I'm being real, I'm, <laughs> I don't really have bars like that. <laughs> but I would say I would say entertainment, like yeah, like um, maybe acting. I feel like stuff like that kind of comes natural for me um, than most. So that's always been cool. Just like stepping outside of basketball and doing something different um, in that industry. So mm-hmm. You did good Maybe. in the commercial, Thank too. Thank you. I, I, had, I had two yeah, lines. Felt yeah. Hey, listen, two <laughs> lines can go a long way. I <laughs> right. had two scenes and one thing that killed uh-huh. me and they get, hey, it did a lot for me. Mm-hmm. So them I two scenes, that. listen, that'll lead you a long way. Mm-hmm. So, no, nah, that's what's up. So acting is one of them. I did yeah, that. Yeah, that would be dope. Juju, we have something on the pod called PG Starting Five where you – where you two will select a lineup of players from point guard to center. So I need you to be perfect at picking your WNBA roster, but the catch is you already drafted shooting guard for both teams. So you and PG will both pick the perfect team to build around you. So starting with you, since you're the lady here, you get to go first, starting with your point guard. Okay, point guard, Kelsey Gray. 
love her. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Pete Turn. Chelsea Gray is a good pick because she is a hell of a floor general. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I, I gotta go. I'm gonna go Kelsey. I'm gonna go Kelsey Plum at the point. Okay. At the point. Okay. We need we need some toughness. You know, right? Take some pressure off you. So we going <laughs> small forward. Small forward. Yeah, because you already okay. shooting guard. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's skip to forward. You want to skip to yeah, the power forward? Can okay. okay, we get yeah. back to it? Go, go we'll get back power to forward. Form. I'll go Satu Sabali. Sabali. Yeah, Sabali. That's, that's a great pick. That's yeah. a great pick. Great okay. pick. Yo, power forward, P. I'm going to go Elisa Thomas. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go Elisa Thomas. We going centered? Are you playmaker? Go small? I got Adrian. Okay. Yeah. Damn, these you can't, got you can't beat on Adrian. that one. You can't do nothing with that. You know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, we gonna need to spread the floor for you. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Stewie at the five. Mm. Rihanna Stewart. I, I'm gonna give you See, some space. Can I get his player though? Nope. The three? Oh no! Oh, no! Wait. Can you? No. Wait, like you can't pick the wait, same player. You can't pick you the picked. same player. Yeah. She's trying to go to big lineup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the three. Okay. You got Who's this. Be my three. Let me see. Don't nobody tell her nothing. <laughs> uh, don't y'all be looking over here. <laughs> for the three. I'm gonna go with. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go. Who team y'all got winning so far? I like hers Probably a little hers. bit. I like her. I need a strong pick. You know right why I don't like so. yours? I like. What's the last girl you just said? Stewie. She, Stewie is good, okay. but she's too little. I got one. Jewel Lloyd. Ooh. Bunk bunked you. <laughs> bonk, she she bonk just me. stabbed you right there. She bunk bunked you. Damn. <laughs> uh. She just bunk bunked you right there. Step step. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Jackie Young. We'll go Jackie solid. Young. I like that name. <laughs> you know what I mean? J Y. <laughs> Come on, Jackie Young. Yeah, she played. She played for the uh, the, Aces. the Aces. Yep. 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 I like I, that. You know, I, we, she she play a little both sides. We need some defense out there. Good defense. So yep. I'm gonna go Jackie, and she a bucket getter as well. My team is winning. Yeah. I was going I like her, Pete. And much. you know why you messed me up with Stewie? With Stewie. Stewie. Yeah. I think we got a chance. I think She's we got. Too- we gonna, we gonna pull Asia out. You know, Asia got to play on the perimeter. Asia eat her up. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I, I think they just balance saying, each other out. Just saying, Asia dog, just saying, Stu your dog. Saying. You know, I think they balance each other out. Okay, whatever, man. Juju, is there any question that you would like to ask P, Dallas, me, or whoever, but <laughs> mainly, mainly this man, because y'all do the same thing. Mm, let me so think is there it. anything before we leave today mm-hmm. that you want to ask this man? Yes. Um, I'm a big fan of like your pace. Mm-hmm. So I would say like what, was that something that you always had or like what really slowed the game? Like when did you start to slow the game down? Honestly, what changed for me, obviously my first couple of years was built off my athleticism mm-hmm. and, you know, just feeling like I was invincible. I can run through a wall. Um, and honestly, I don't think I had pace. It was all just happening naturally. Just being young, being youthful, being able to fly around, jump out the gym all of that stuff, right? It didn't happen until after I got injured and I broke my leg and I sat out and watched the game from the sideline. And, you know, crazy enough, I used to put myself in situations watching the team play like, oh, I would have done that differently or had I slow, slow down right here or um, I was just running through so many, it was almost like I was playing mentally while watching from the sideline, right? And so when I came back, that applied to me now because, you know, it took some time for me to gain trust in my body, to gain how to move and jump and all of this stuff. But I was still out there practicing and playing. So that's when I realized, like, all right, I got to be a little bit more smarter because I don't have that burst right now. I don't have that mm-hmm. quick step. I don't have that athleticism right now. So the game literally slowed down for me. And I, I think that's kind of when I realized, like, changing the tempo, like, you know, how to play fast and then slow down, catch my def- defender off guard, and then now speed up. Like, it was learning my cadence, you mm-hmm. know? And I would say that was the biggest jump for me on understanding how to play at my pace, let alone from the team's pace. The team plays at a certain pace. I get it, we wanna play fast, cool. Or we wanna slow it down, cool, that's the team's pace. But when I have the ball or if I'm in scoring opportunities, now the game's gonna be played at my pace. and and with that is just, you know, reading, you know, help side defense. Because I, and you probably look at it the same way, right? I don't ever look at the person in front of me guarding. Right. You know what I mean? It's always seeing 
the next play? Who's mm-hmm. behind him? Where's the help going to come from? Where's the low man at? Where's the nail help? Um, and so it was always reading that person. And once I realized that, then I started to understand like, all right, I could fake this way and then quick snatch go back the other way because that's where I'm really trying to go. So to answer that question, that all started to develop after the the big injury and you know, I, I was sidelined and had to just watch from, you know, from a boot and, mm-hmm. and you know, uh, a tuxedo on, or not a tuxedo, but a suit on. <laughs> um, so, yeah, to answer that. That's crazy. So, we ain't having no injuries. Yeah, no. No None injuries. Of that. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. Uh, so, is that it? <laughs> not not yeah. for us? Where'd you get your oh. button? <laughs> Are we just we plugged the button. Who did the button? <laughs> Juju did it. <laughs> uh, Juju did my bond today. Nah, she, she don't want to take credit she for that. She did one. the size though. She did the edges. I did the edge, she cleaned I did the, the edges. She cleaned me out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And mama approved. Yeah, Juju. Come we, on. We, uh-huh. we, we we gotta come with gifts. You Got know, to. you you part of the family, podcast P. Thank you so Again, much. Again, we want to shout you out for Bye. taking time out of your schedule. Come through and, and bless our podcast P studio. So, you know, we can't let you leave empty handed. I appreciate you. There it is. We appreciate Juju coming <laughs> through. We appreciate the Watkins family for coming through. Yes, sir. We want y'all to stay locked in. We'll be right back with a little Postman P. When it comes to travel, every family has a happy place, a five-star resort with a kids club or an all-inclusive by the beach. My family's happy place when I was a little kid was going camping in San Luis Obispo at Lake Lopez. What about y'all? My happy place? <sighs> I would probably say we would go down to, uh, I think it was like either Newport or like Laguna Beach, but my dad would take us every year and there was a basketball court outside right by the ocean. Mm-hmm. And we used to go play three on three and just have a good time with the family. So that's probably, that would be mine. Mine is, uh, I used to go to this place called Bullwinkles in Montclair. It was dope as hell. <laughs> what? what is it? Bullwinkles was like an amusement park. Okay. Uh, like you say, we used to go for fun. It was bull, it's, the name of it was called Bullwinkles Amusement Park in Montclair. Used to do the the, the goat cars, the uh, oh, okay. boat, okay. the boat, all the like, arcade. Everything. It was like my favorite place. Wherever your happy place is, Priceline wants to get you and your family there more often. And thanks to Priceline family friendly options, you can save up to 60% on family friendly hotels. You can even sort by room type and amenities like pools and get access to deals you can't find anywhere else. With Priceline, you never have to miss a trip. There's value in using Priceline because it helps you save money so you can spend your savings at your destination like Tulum. So download the Priceline app today to save up to 60% off family friendly hotels and go to your happy price with Priceline. Before we get back to the show, Podcast P is sponsored by BetterHelp. And as the weather gets better, we all have to become more social. So I want to ask you guys, how's your social battery right now? Social batteries, I think, doing well right now. We been, charged been, up? been locked in at work, but the sun has been shining a little bit. Gone out, played some golf, and it's just been good to, to get outside and be with other people. So it's doing well. Bunky? I've been doing good, you know, having a lot of meetings, auditioning, helping me focus and getting out there and just on that grind, man. Love that. Love that. I hear you all on that. And that's why I believe therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. I know because I use therapy to help me balance life on the court and balance life off the court. How has therapy helped y'all? The same with me, P. I use it to balance my life. You know what I'm saying? Get me up in the morning, schedule my whole system, and that's that's what it do. It helps me motivate myself. I think that we can get so focused on whether it's work or relationships, family, business, whatever it may be. And sometimes you forget just to, you know, pour into yourself a little bit. So if you guys are out there thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash podcast P today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash podcast P. As we promised, we had the wonderful Juju on set with us, but now we got our postman P. So, uh, that what you got for us? What's the first question of the day? So, the first question comes from Kendrick Smith 22, and he asks, Yo, P, it's been crazy watching all of the baseline alley oops James Harden has been throwing to Russ, considering Russ is in year 18. He's truly a freak of nature athlete. You've played with Russ in two stops now. What's the most freakish athletic thing you've seen Russ do on the court? 
whether in a practice or in a game? Freakish thing. I think uh, the freakish thing about it all is it's in the question. 18. Like year 18 <laughs> and he's still doing this. Right. And he does this on a nightly basis. Exactly. And when I was in Oklahoma with him, I watched this literally every game. What you guys see in in the games, he's doing this in practice as well. So just let that like sink in like of how athletic he and is. And in the warm-ups. Yeah. And in the warm-ups. Yeah, like, uh, and he's one of those dudes that like, he just steps in the gym and he's already bouncy and dunking crazy. Like, regardless, we can just get in the gym, practice at 10 o'clock, and Russ is already <laughs> talking shit. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I think that's the most impressive and the freakish thing about it all is that still, with how long he's been in the league, he's still doing it. Well, the second question comes from Jalen. Vince Carter and Chauncey Billups recently got selected to the Basketball's Hall of Fame. Do you have any personal favorite moments with those two during your time in the league, P? Yeah, I mean, I got, you know, uh, I had, uh, you know, somebody I looked up to, Vince Carter, you know, when we played against each other, we would always, you know, he would always look out and, uh, you know, just have great stuff to say, always dapped it up, you know, embraced me with a big hug every time I seen him. Um, and well-deserved. I think he's very underrated when it yep. comes to all he's done and how good he was and, and his effect on just a whole culture of basketball when you talk about him being in Toronto. Um, and obviously Big Shot, uh, mm -hmm. Chauncey Billups. Right. He was our assistant uh, a couple years back in LA and I became really close with him through that process and him just being my guy. Our relationship grew um, with, with Chauncey is just uh, his realness, right? So like he was my shooting coach and, you know, when I would go out and get ready for games, like he was my coach that, you know, was assigned to me. And, um, you know, it'll, it'll just be like, what I love is being coached. I love when, when like, I don't, don't sugarcoat shit, tell me exactly what it is, and I'll respond. Right. And that's kind of how Big Shot was for me. Like, I remember there was moments where I might be a little flat or, you know, Shots aren't falling, or he could just tell, like, all right, he ain't he ain't himself right now, and he'll keep it a hundred. Hey man, stop fucking around with these. Like, get on your shit. Like, what, right. what the fuck you doing, man? Like, he'll he'll come to me on some real shit like that. And at that moment, that's why I was like, all right, that's my guy. Like, that's my dog. I'm rocking with with Big Shot. It would just be a look. Like, <laughs> it got to a point where it was just a look. Yeah, and he'll, he, and you could tell, cause you know, at that time we, it was during COVID, most of it. So he'll have his mask on, but like I could tell. <laughs> like this the yeah, 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 I could tell what time it, he was on. And he'll give me that look and I, it'll just be like, all right, all right, I got you big shot, I'm locked in. That's big and, shot. And yeah, that, yeah, that was big all right. Ass that was, head, big, yeah. follow -up question. <laughs> big ass head, big shot. <laughs> The next question comes from Inglewood Clip, and he asks, PG had an incredible highlight the other night where he shook the defender to the floor and dang near crossed him, recovered, and still drained the midi. He mentioned before watching his own highlights, what would be his three favorites from this season? Three favorite highlights from this season? Yep. Individual highlights? I'm trying to think I think you. the game winner against Golden State. Mm -hmm. That was a big moment. I would say the game winner over a Jonathan Isaac in Orlando. That would probably be my most, the most memorable, I think, shot or highlight of the season so far for me. Well, our last question for Postman P comes from our boy Miles. He said, I've been seeing Wimby cooking out there with a ridiculous stat line and Brandon Miller went off the other night too. P, during your time in the league, who's the best rookie that you've seen enter the NBA? Best rookie that I've seen enter the NBA? That's a good question. I think Derrick Rose. Like, yeah, I think I, Derrick Rose, <laughs> hands down, has Derrick put Rose. on the greatest, Derrick if Rose not sure. one of the greatest, if not the greatest rookie campaigns, I think that we've seen. Yeah, yeah. D Rose for sure. D Rose. Like, and, I, and, and I was actually talking to, because uh, we was joking about Russ. Uh, he had one of the uh, layups the other night where he had a fast break and he tried to two hand dunk, but it like, was like, like it was like a little, yeah. little rim grazer. <laughs> and we was like, man, like old Russ, you know, we was joking, old Russ would have did something crazy with that. 
And then we start talking about the explosiveness and at, at what age and, and we talking to the young guys, B Boston, I was, we was talking to him on a bench. We was like, man, do you remember how crazy D Rose was? <sighs> and I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, he was, that was the, the, yeah, that was the craziest. Good, pick. good, good choice. Him and, and, and I think Tyreek Evans, rookie season. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Good... Damn, that's right, Tyreek, damn, He's wow. have seen a lot of rookies. Tyreek yeah. Like, that's, that's what I was trying to go back, like. That yeah, Tyreek, way as far as, like, crazy, like, there's been some good rookie seasons since I've been in the league, but, like, as far as, like, like, dudes that was just, you just knew. Tyreek was cold, He gonna be too. a problem for a minute. I mean, Luka's rookie year was crazy. He was, it was looking like it was too easy for him for a rookie. What about Melo? You, you gonna talk about boy in there? LaMelo? Yeah. LaMelo had a, yeah, LaMelo had a great had rookie season. Had a great rookie season. He did have a, he I did, mean, he did have a good year. rookie season. I mean, rookie of the year, I mean, you can't get no better than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, <laughs> you there's, there's a rookie boy. of the season every year, you, you know? I don't care, uh, I don't care. We, we're just talking about the He got it twice, he got it twice. Lithuania too. Oh my God. He got God. rookie of the year in Lithuania. Okay, okay, Man. well he just knows every stat of That's my boy, Mello. that's my boy. Yeah, that's uh, my boy. But yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I gotta go with D-Rose. Okay. All right, that was some great questions from Postman P. We appreciate y'all fans for the questions. Keep them coming in. Y'all thought those was good? I Loved think they asked some good questions. questions. How like about Juju, like... man? Juju was awesome. No, no. Fantastic, Juju young, was special talent. Special talent, special talent, special yeah. talent. Astronomical. Yeah. astronomical, she was I'm a fan. I'm yep. a fan. I'm a fan going forward. She is the face of women's basketball for a very long time. I can't wait to see her in person. Like play. Play, yeah. We got to go to a game. Yeah. Yeah. Got to go to a game. I got to see her. You going to wear the bun? I might. Just because I it's think established, you should. I can yeah, do it now. I think you should. And we friends. And, and y'all friends. Yeah, we <laughs> friends. We friends. I can do that. I'll, I'll definitely do that for Juju. Got Anybody to. else won't get this. Won't Juju get, that. get that. Juju get yeah, that. Juju get that. I like that. Well, there you have it. It's a wrap on the episode. We appreciate y'all. And yeah. Bang bang. <laughs> <laughs>